picture you guys made was yeah. really cool. Yeah, uh, shout out to Tucker right there. All right, it looks like they're going right into yeah, it. Yeah, it's right into it, yep. So we got Slox versus MACD right here. Round All right. two of singles. It seems pretty clear what Slox is going to do as a game plan. Yeah. Wow, that was so smart from Slox. Like, he already knew that MACD is going to down smash. So he yeah. just rolled out of the way. Like, just go into defense mode sometimes. Oh, no. Yeah. I hope he's worried of that because... MACD loves to down smash when he's on a platform. So, you know, you just wait for it, and then you back air if they have high enough percent. I mean, I bet, like, 90% of the stream chat would know that that's what MACD loves to do. Yeah, yeah. Actually, 100% of them would instantly know. Yeah, the stream chat would probably be like, no! Oh, that was a really good quick edge guard. Yeah, MACD is so good at edge guarding Fox, and, and especially comboing. And, and that whole stock was just that one down smash er, and one edge guard. Oh, okay. I see what he was going for. That soft bear to up smash, but great DI. Uh, from MACD. I like for the most part that MACD did not commit to a dash attack because that's yep. what Slox was fishing for from MACD. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> Barely right? leaves. Yo. That was a really bold angle for him to choose. Yeah, like he could have just did an angle but go up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, get up. Wow, get up attack into shine. <laughs> I've never seen that set up before. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Wow, the tech chases right here on the platforms. Great follow-ups here for Mackie. Well, he chained that slow. Ooh, Ooh good wow. fade back into the side B there. Oh, oh yeah, that Burger King crown. Let's see if it makes it back. Oh, man, try to go for that super angle. Mac D is so good at hitting those bears. Like, he was getting them a lot in his previous match that we commentated, and he nailed a couple already on slocks. Oh. All right. Oh, that's got opportunity. Oh, wow, that hitbox, wow. And as much as, you know, Slox is, has a good game plan, it's just that MACD is hitting so hard on Slox's mistakes right now. Yep. And I feel like he's being a little bit too aggressive, because Slox is an aggressive player, but if he just has a slightly more patience, he could definitely, like, bring this back. Yeah. Wow, that was extremely fast. And MACD knew that he needed to respect that. It was a little late on the reaction, so... Yeah. So I'm pretty sure MACD's gonna adjust now. Like, oh, he could perfect left dash. Yeah. Alright. You usually give them one chance. Yeah. So many oh. foxes are able to do that. I guess that's a new flavor of the 2016. Ledge dashing. Oh. Wow, I like that. He didn't continue going forward. He just went back to ledge because he didn't get the attack. Right? But that's the big thing. Uh, he ended up doing the slow getup because he missed the ledge dash. Yep. Yeah, you never want to do that. Yeah. So that there is a trade-off, especially if you're kind of learning. Yep. Is that you either tournament winner or you SD or you end up slow get -upping. None of them are really good. Uh, it makes it harder and harder to get the up throw up there, especially with MACD's uh, good DI from up throws. Interesting down tilt there. All right, can Slox secure this kill? Yeah, he definitely needs to secure it now. Wow, that great pressure. But, but MACD just yeah. ends up breaking it up. Yeah, MACD did not bite. And I like that MACD is not falling for any of these baits. Wow, yeah. that oh. drop zone. Oh, okay, he, he noticed he messed up, so then he just tried to take him down with him with the umbrella, but just messed up. Uh -oh. Ooh, this is huge. Oh, yeah, no. Oh. Yeah, he, 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 yeah, see, he knows. It's like you just want to hit Peach. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, I can do it. I can do it. Oh. Yeah, after those two up airs, he should have just like super spaced and got on the platform. And then, you know, he would down smash. Yeah. And then you just punish him right after. Did you, uh, have you ever played I Want to Be the Guy? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like it's like that. It's like you're at the you're at the checkpoint and you're just thinking jump, 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 yeah. and then you die and you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Uh, I yeah, yeah. Done it's like it wasn't gonna be that easy. Yeah. Control and error game. <laughs> oh man. Shouts to people who've beaten that game. I hate that game. I hate that game so much. Anyway, going to right. game two, Battlefield. All right, so he's going right back to Battlefield. Well, like, he played pretty uh, pretty solid, but MACD's punishes, though. Yeah. That's definitely what helped MACD secure the game right there. And it seems like, um, you know, aside from a few upper strings, um, Slox didn't really get much any juicy openings of his own. I love that edge guard by MACD, because even if Slox didn't side B again the second time, 
he was floating, and then he could just get jump out of his float and then catch him when he up beats towards the stage. Dude. Oh, oh no, wow. unfortunate. I, uh, right there, I don't understand why Slox didn't up beat stall. You know, that's the best thing to do when you have beach in that situation. You just up beat stall, keep your invincibility, and then she's forced to up beat into you, and then you shine. I, th I just think he totally just forgot. Yeah. He thought, because MACD loves to attack the swing, he was just thinking probably like, MACD's just gonna come straight and that his invulnerability timing wasn't gonna get taken up. Yeah, Slox has a, an uphill battle right here. He is already down two stocks, already with fit, at least 50%. And it's a dramatic lead because we are not gonna see shine spikes. And overall, Slox is a nickel and dime type of fox. He's only only going to add single hits. So openings aren't going to come that consistently. Yeah. And it's so hard for Fox 2 to fight Peach sometimes. Because it's like, at low percent, you can't just go all willy-nilly with Tex go on Peach. Because she is the trade master. She has so yeah. much priority on all her moves. And at this point, MACD can literally trade at any oppor every opportunity. Yeah. Play. Wow, just caught him. Ooh, oh, wow. that... Yeah, Burger King slaps. Wow, and the commanding two stock lead here for Maggie. This is huge. Oh, can he get oh, something okay. here? Ooh, okay, pretty good stuff. But yeah, she has her high float. Wow. Alright. Wow, and the Slox is just freestyling right now. He, he's he's kind of feeling it. Yeah. Working out from. Yeah, but MACD is about to put a stop to that. And MACD is throwing out these preemptive moves to just say, hey, I got you on check. Yeah, like, hey, respect me. Yeah, uh, yeah you can't see. Yeah, see, he's spooking him. <laughs> and it's wow, slowing fan, down Slox's aggression. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's so hard to secure the KO on MACD sometimes. Man. Like, it looks so tempting to just run up ups, man. Wow. Wow. And that's something I haven't seen from MACD like this tournament those up air strings he usually just settles for that one hit of air yeah. and nothing more yeah you gotta try your best to extend your combos man you want to oh. be a better player oh no what? that was so unfortunate <laughs> <laughs> yeah he knew he was dead <laughs> yeah two that's... unfortunate deaths right there from the ledge at low percent yeah that one stock where he got fared at like 20 from the ledge while well, he had the edge guard. And then there, MACD was in a terrible position. <laughs> and then he just messed up and got hit again. It was just it was just a brain flub. He wasn't thinking 